Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites, and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video, mukbang and cooking show. Everybody, let's go, check out my video, if you want to get it right, come join Delicious Bites, check it, check it, video, check out my video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you never miss out on another delicious bite. And if you've been in it for a minute, I thank you so much for coming on back. So today, you guys, I am making tortilla soup, a chicken tortilla soup. I just felt like I wanted it. Um, I wanted something warm and savory and a little spicy. So let's get it. In here, I have two tablespoons of olive oil, and this is the extra virgin, extra virgin olive oil that I am using. I already have my pot on the stove warming up, so we're just going to add the olive oil to that. And once that heats through, let me grab a spoon. We'll add the other ingredients. To that, I will be adding four cloves of garlic. That won't go in right away. We're going to put the onions in and the jalapenos. And we're using one jalapeno. And you can de-seed it if you want. You can also um, take the membrane out because that's where all the heat is at and the seeds in the membrane. I left a little bit in. So one jalapeno. And then you're supposed to use um, two cups of... I'm sorry, one cup of onion, and it's a sweet Vidalia, but that's a lot of onion. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it all or not. We're going to see. It makes a lot of soup, you guys. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use it, and we're going to turn this down. Got cilantro on me. All right. So, oh, I missed some. So we have one cup of onion, or like one large onion. Hold on. I need to grab an oven mitt because this pan gets super hot. So you just want to sweat your onions or cook your onions down until they become translucent. And you want to chop them up nice and fine, which I did. Missed a couple pieces, but it's okay. So you want your onion in there. And then you can also go ahead and add in your jalapeno. Again, this is one, one good size jalapeno, like that. You can add that in there. I am going to add the whole thing. This makes quite a bit of soup and you can freeze it. it says it freezes for like about six months. Turn that back up. Let that sweat through. Once I can get all my spices out of the way, I can pull you guys closer so you can see inside the pot. But right now it's kind of hard to do as I have limited counter space. So anyway, while that is cooking down a little bit, I'll tell you what my other ingredients are. You have a third cup of cilantro. I didn't do a whole third cup, as you can tell. If you look right here, you'll see where it says one third cup. It's kind of under the line. Um, as I've grown older, I've learned to appreciate cilantro, cilantro, but I don't really, I'm not in love with it. It kind of reminds me of soap. So, <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. I tend not to use a lot of it. I do like it. I like it now more than I did as a kid, but I don't, I'm not going to use the whole third cup. You guys cook how you want to cook for you. Hold on. And the cilantro is something that we will add last. As this is cooking, the aromas from the onion and the um, jalapenos is coming up. It's making me cough a little bit. So anyway, while it's doing its thing, we have one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I have, I believe this is, it is, two teaspoons of 
no, I'm lying. One teaspoon of paprika. And you can use smoked paprika. I didn't have it, so you substitute regular paprika. So this is one teaspoon of paprika. And this is one tablespoon of chili powder. And then we have two teaspoons of salt. I'm using my pink Himalayan sea salt. That's really all I ever use. And then we have some black pepper. And the black pepper is um, a teaspoon, teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of black pepper. It's all to your taste. If you don't want it that spicy, you don't want all that pepper, you don't have to use it. This is lime juice and it's one tablespoon of lime juice, which is half of a lime. I got one tablespoon out of half of that. This is two cups of chicken. Um, and I use rotisserie chicken. It's just easier. This is supposed to be a quick and easy um, middle of the week kind of recipe. It's supposed to be ready to go in 30 minutes. So if you use rotisserie chicken, that's going to help make that happen. If you want to go ahead and roast your own chicken, absolutely, by all means, do that. But this is just a quick and easy, I just got off work, middle of the week kind of recipe that you can get on the table and feed your family and it tastes like you worked on it all day. So there's that. And then I have a can of black beans and this is a 15.5 ounce can of black beans. So that is what is here, is that 15 ounce can. 15.5 ounce can of black beans. And then I have a cup and a half of corn, and this is frozen corn. And if you use the small bird's eye steamer bag, that is exactly a cup and a half. I have 32 ounces of chicken broth. I probably should have picked up the low sodium. I did not. You're gonna add the chicken broth to the veggies once they get translucent, and they are. <clears throat> And you are going to add the whole can of chicken broth, or the whole carton, I'm sorry. The whole 32 ounces in the pot. What makes this go so fast is that the, I think is really for me, is that the chicken is already done. That just really, really makes it go quickly. Turn that up, and then we're going to add that garlic in. You can definitely add your garlic um, maybe a minute before you put in the broth and toast it up. That works as well. Gives you more of the flavor of it. This is going to cook down, so you're definitely going to get the flavor. But if you wanted a toasty, more, a toasty flavor of garlic, you could do that. I tend to burn my garlic when I try to do that, so we're not doing that today because I really don't want to mess this recipe up. I'm starved. I'm hungry, so we're going to try to get this right. So while that is coming to a boil, you're just going to start adding in your other ingredients. It is nothing that you have to wait for. You just It's pretty much a dump recipe. You just dump everything into the pot into the pot. What is wrong with my mouth today? Just dry, can't get it right. When you do your black beans, they need to be rinsed, drained and rinsed. You don't want any residual, anything on the beans, drained and rinsed. But when you do your um, tomatoes, you use the juice and all. So you're supposed to have 14.5 ounce can of tomatoes, chopped up tomatoes, I have a 14.5 ounce can of tomatoes, tomatoes of your choice. And then I thought I would like to try these um, Rotel diced tomatoes with green chilies and chipotle peppers. So that's what this can is. This can is a little smaller. It's only 10 ounces. 
and it should be two 14.5 ounce cans. But like I said, do your recipe the way you want to do your recipe. Do what tastes good to you. So that's what I'm doing. So we're going to add in the tomatoes. I just think that the <clears throat> chipotle peppers is going to give this a nice little bite along with the cayenne and the black pepper. Add that one in. You can definitely omit the cayenne or the black pepper if you think the chipotle peppers are going to be too hot along with the jalapeno. That's a lot of spice. You may not want all that. Taste it as you go and see where it's at and then you may just not add all that pepper. <clears throat> This recipe also calls for two teaspoons of cumin. I'm so upset because I'm out. <clears throat> so I'm making this recipe without it. So we'll see how it turns out. Let's get this other can of tomatoes in here. I love these pop tops. I don't have to break out the can opener. So I really enjoy these pop tops. Tomatoes in. Juice and all. Give it a stir. Gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna put the lime juice over here with the cilantro because it is something that's going to be added at the end. Move my little spices out the way because I want to move you guys up so you can see the pot. And these are spices that I'm gonna taste as I go before I just dump them all in. I want to taste it. So let's try to move you guys up. As best I can. Now well, you still can't see in the pot. Let's get you there. Let's get you to the pot. Bear with me. You guys know I am working in limited amount of space. Put the corn here. And we're going to. See if we can't get you a better shot. Let's put the black beans here. There. I think now you can see inside the pot. Yeah. That's as good as it's going to get, guys. <clears throat> so we've got... <clears throat> 